Sibuyas, Sibuyas ride. Oh, para kang naka sport bike. <laughs> guys welcome back uh, I'm on my way uh, to Casa Seat in East Riverbank so and the traffic is bad but in along I'm on my scooter uh, I'm having a new seat cover for the Vespa made because uh, I need it to match yung, uh, the backrest the backrest for the top box and uh, the one I ordered from is available in two colors the light brown and the dark brown I went with the dark brown and I'm just going to uh, have them uh, match it for the seat cover since I really need to replace the seat cover because it has so many scratches from the cats so good thing I had a seat cover or else my original seat would have been uh, damaged because of it. So. Let me see if there's a seat cover before I put the seat cover. I see. This is my seat. Oh my god. No, only pina kamal. Ito na yun siya. Yan na ba yung pina kamalapit? Layo na. Ito na yung pina kamalapit. Tapos pwede rin ganito yung ano? Stitch. Yung stitch niya? Oo. Pero hindi ganyan kaliit. Maliit niya. Hindi, okay lang. Pero yung kulay. Ito naman sa mga sa akin. Kakao medyo malapit dyan. Ah, uh, for it. Kasi ito medyo malapit. Maanayo na. Hindi, malayo na yan. Parang ito yung pinakamalapit na yan, no? Anong kuya yan na lang? Sige, paano ako. Tap. Kengo. K-E-N-G-O. Ha. Uh -huh. Okay na yan? Picturean ko na lang yan Sige, salamat Tapos te-text mo na lang ako dyan pag okay na Sige, thank you Okay, quick gas for the Vespa So, 6.5 2.86 liters, 195 on the odometer, 6.286, 31 kilometers per liter. Wow, not bad. Uh, I think this was because uh, uh, my last trip was uh, when we went to uh, Tanay, so the trip was long. It was a longer trip as compared to the city rides before the 28, 29 lang nakukuha ko. So, not bad. Um, by the way, we're on our way to uh, back to Kainta, to Casa Seat, to pick up, to pick up our uh, seat cover that we ordered. Uh, so, it's, uh, I ordered it Wednesday evening. It's now Saturday. So, we're on our way to pick it up. But uh, we can now install the new uh, seat cover for the Vespa that matches. Suppose, uh, hopefully, it will actually match the the backrest properly. Uh, but the, the 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 swatch that they showed me, it wasn't a perfect match, but it was close enough. I hope uh, the difference is not going to be that obvious, but. Uh, uh, um, Hopefully, yeah, it will look good. So uh, I'll be installing the backrest later. Uh, I'll report back after that. See you guys again later. Uh, the cost is 900 pesos to have your seat cover made here in Casa Seat. It's located here in East Riverbank in uh, Kaita Rizal. 
Um, I could have uh, just had Lala move, do the delivery, but another excuse to take the Vespa out. So the Sibuyas ride. Oh, para kang naka sport bike. <laughs> Wipe out, man. Okay. Huh? Wipe out. Pero wipe out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think you've already seen, I'm a little disappointed on what happened with the previous seat cover that actually also came from them. You saw the how the old seat cover stained the original seat's uh, white piping. Supposedly the seat cover is to protect your original seat, but in this case it actually looks like it damaged it more because now the the piping is now has red stains but uh, Casa Seat did mention that they could just replace the piping down the road if if if, if I wanted to but uh, I think partly that that defeats the purpose of the seat cover but uh, with this dark brown the the underside of this one is uh, untreated, unpainted, so which means the color, there's not going to be any color stains, but sadly the, the damage has been done already, so there's not, nothing much we can do about it except to have it repaired next time. Uh, but for the brown one, it, uh, they did install it already, so it looks pretty nice how they made it. The fit is not as tight as the the red one that I used to have. This one got fitted much easier. There's more allowance on the bottom. So what I'm a little worried about is the red one was tight when it was new, but after a few uses, it actually got snug and fit perfectly. But now. If this one fits perfectly already, I'm worried that it might sag if it gets, uh, after a few uses, it might show some sag, but uh, I'll, I'll update this after a few months of use if the tightness to the seat covers, snugness to the seat is, is retained. So guys, I'll be, uh, as soon as I get back, I'll be installing the backrest and then uh, let's see how perfect or how close the match of the new seat cover is against the backrest. Hi guys, so we're now going to be installing the backrest for my Sprint top box. Now, I ordered this from the US. This was on sale. I will post the price and where I got it, but I know this was at 40% discount. That's why I decided to get it. So what comes with the package? So, of course you get the backrest. Uh, the one that I ordered is dark brown. And that's why I had the seat cover match to, to this. Comes with the hardware also, four screws and four rubber 
grommets for four rubber stoppers, so it looks like it. Let's see. So self-tapping screws and like rubber gaskets or rubber stoppers. Okay, so we're going to install this now. Let me just uh, move the camera so you guys can see what we're going to be doing. So as you can see here, it says Vespa Top Box Backrest, Primavera Sprint 2018. Now, I'm hoping the 2018 Top Box is the same as this 2022 model because I did make the... If you notice, there's the screw mounts here and there's screws here. Uh, the screw holes do sort of align. It's like off a very few millimeters, so I hope... This is just a matter of adjustment because once I start drilling, uh, the only way I can repair this now is if I have it uh, repainted. So I hope this is the correct part. So, so before I bring out the big drill, I'm just going to use a small screw with a small drill bit here so I can control and create a guide first before I go and do uh, use the big drill. So I'm just going to line it here. Okay. Okay. okay, guide holes are set. Let's look how... Okay. I hope I'm doing this right because the holes are already there. Okay, let me just get the big drill. I'm setting the drill to low speed so I have better control. Okay, all holes made. Ah, point of no return already. So now we put the screws inside the stoppers. Let me just thread it here first. So I finally installed the backrest. Now, as expected, the holes were not perfectly aligned with the guide marks, just a little bit off. So uh, for the bottom one, I had to make an extra hole just slightly on top of the original marker. So, but it's still covered. The, the, the second hole was still covered by the rubber. So since the extra hole is at the bottom, there's less chance that water will sip in since it's, the rain is going to come from the top and not from the bottom. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue. But uh, besides that, after I added that extra hole, you could also just enlarge the hole. That's also a possibility. And then mount the, the backrest 
I suggest going from the bottom because it's hard to align the screws from if you if you screw the top first it's hard to wish to see where the the hole marks are at the bottom because your your sight is very limited so it's best to actually mount the bottom first just enough for it to latch onto the hole and then do not tighten too much then uh, attach the top part of the screws and then you tighten all four once all the all the screws have been properly aligned to each of their uh, screw hole so looks like this is actually uh, the 2018 Primavera Sprint uh, backrest is actually a perfect fit. You just have to wrestle it in. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. Uh, there's a lot of uh, wrestling that I needed to do. So here it is after tightening. Almost no more gaps. New top. Other side, yep. So, there you go. I think what was not followed from the instruction is they were supposed to use a more yellow beige uh, stitching. If you notice here, this is more like brown. I actually brought this to them to show and we decided that we were supposed to be using something like a more yellowish uh, stitch but I think that was not followed because this looks more white and this is more looks more yellow but from afar I don't think you would be able to tell them apart that easily so but if you're going to compare the materials the the one that Casa Seat made is actually leather this one from Vespa originally is actually vinyl so this might be more durable but this one feels more premium it's actually softer to the touch this one feels very stiff so there you go so the top box with the backrest now both of these are original Vespa accessories so they actually fit together but not that perfect but they actually uh, fit together but so there you go guys thank you very much and uh, if you haven't like and subscribe please do so bye